What's going on my tech friends? This is the one and only Tech Boss and today we are going to be having a little in-depth review well maybe not an in-depth but just a little review about the OnePlus 6 I mean I've had this phone for coming to about two weeks now and obviously you guys saw the unboxing on my last video I did but now today we are going to review this phone I'm, I need to take this phone back to obviously where I got it from so I might as well tell you guys how I mean how the phone was to me for the last coming to two weeks I was actually using the OnePlus 6 anyway OnePlus 6 isn't it's I don't know there's a lot of bad and good things about the OnePlus 6 which I mean kind of makes the phone good and also bad anyway number one the notch it is so so annoying I'm not gonna lie to you I mean using the phone sometimes I don't notice it's there to be honest but once I see the notch and I'm like I'm like oh my days is the notch really there are you are you serious but to be fair when you're using the phone if, you, if you're using it for a couple of days or whatever when you get the phone you definitely get used to it you would just you would just realize it's not there but when you do realize it's there it's it's, it's it's quite annoying but anyway I got used to it it didn't bother me that much unless like I said I physically looked at it and I thought okay it's there but anyway design quality of this device is absolutely beautiful this is the mid light midnight black and it just looks absolutely gorgeous the back is like a nice beautiful mirror finish it's it's, it's just amazing then the fingerprint sensor i mean i unlocked the phone it's it, it unlocks pretty sharp like honestly it's it's the phone itself is so damn quick it's just absolutely unreal i tell you what the s9 plus i've used that phone I mean, I haven't used it personally, I don't own one, but one of my friends do and we've used their face unlocking system, whatever they call it, on the phone and it's quick, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get it wrong, it's quick, but this is a lot more quicker, the OnePlus 6 is so much flipping quicker, it's unreal, anyway, um, what else, the camera, due camera, I mean, it's not really the best camera out there, I mean, Samsung still smashes the shit out of it, <laughs> mind my language, but I mean, it's uh i mean it's not a proper light like it's, it's not a high phone like the apple or the samsung or the google pixel or anything like that this is mainly the cheap version of the of of, of the high of the high end of the high end smartphones if if you put it that way but um yeah um the camera isn't that bad it's good but it's not that bad the front facing camera is awesome i mean i can't really fault the the, the camera at all for an entry-level phone with a camera like that it's absolutely the bomb it, it literally is smashing very good anyway um also the camera's got two cameras in the back um one is the i can't remember what it's called i'm a tech guy i don't even know what it's called but it's a it's a normal camera and then the i can't even remember what it's called but basically it's got two cameras basically click times two and then it gets the shot closer to you without any noise or, dis or disturbance in the in the picture I, I don't even know to be honest but anyway the phone is, is, is it's, it's a nice phone anyway there's a beautiful feature I love on this phone that you get in the iPhones that I would like on an Android phone but it's they don't have it on the Android phone so and I, I and I like the feature but I don't want to go to Apple which is the vibrate which goes from silent to vibrate and then to ring which is awesome actually the Samsung, I mean the, the iPhones they've got it but the feature is it's not really cool all you got is just vibrate and silent but this actually comes in free free not four free all the way down is the ring and then to the middle it's the vibrate and then push it all the way up it is silent which is a sick feature three in one there which is awesome it's a nice phone very very fast very snappy and also the face unlocking is is all my day it's literally jaw dropping i can smell beer someone's drinking beer are you serious it's flipping it's it's the afternoon how can you drink beer in the afternoon are you serious Back to the video. Anyway, the face unlocking is is, is is literally out of this world. It is literally the fastest, fastest face unlocking system I've ever tried out in my life. And I've tried out a lot of um, face face unlocking systems on a smartphone, and but this is just so quick. Literally, 
I literally pick up the phone. I don't. I literally don't even have to focus it on my face like this. I literally, it's in my pocket. I pick it up. I look down. Literally, it's it's unlocked. Obviously, it won't unlock because I've got my shades and my glasses. But literally, in my pocket, take it out. Boom! It just unlocks. It's it's absolutely phenomenal. Literally, I have got the phone on the table. I literally have to put my head in like that, and it unlocks. It's flipping amazing. Anyway, it's it's literally I don't know what the what sensor they put in there to make it absolutely smashing, but literally it is so fast. To be honest, if I rated this phone out of five, I'd rate it probably maybe a three. Because to be honest, it's 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 a budget phone. It's not never gonna be up there with Samsung, Apple and one and, and then the Google Pixel and all that. Never gonna be up there. But it's a good it's a good start for someone that doesn't really want to spend up to a grand on, on a smartphone and you know it's it's this goes for about 400 and something pounds something like that i'm not too sure or maybe even 300 if you look on ebay or amazon or whatever or wherever you can get it cheap but anyway the phone is it's 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 an all right phone i'll, I'll give it that it's it's it's, not, it's an all right phone but yeah guys that is it for the review i mean i've only used the phone for coming up to two basically two weeks I only used the phone for two weeks not really a lot to say about it because I mean it's just two weeks I haven't really like proper went into the phone and, and see what's up and, and things like that and also one thing I don't like about this phone is the fact that it doesn't have a lot of settings like the Samsung because I'm used to using a high-end phone like Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus that's what I use myself but this does not have a lot of, it doesn't give you the, the privilege to play around with the settings and things like that and the feature of the phone and stuff like that don't get me wrong you can, you can change the, the themes on it that's pretty much yeah you can do that but it doesn't give you I mean I mean going from a from a high-end phone to a to a low lower end phone I mean it, it's, it's kind of hard because you you're used to to big specs big settings on that phone and then you downgrade to this and you're like Where's all the settings? Where are the where, where's all the big spec and stuff like that? If you know what I mean. But yeah, to be to be fair, it, it is quick. And also another thing I hear about this device that that literally this would never go in my pocket. I'll never use this at all. Is the is 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 the tap and pay, tap and pay and go. However it's said, I don't know how it's said, but however it's said, I don't know. But anyway, what it is, my my S8 Plus, literally, I download the Barclays. Um, bank app and your does it for me contactless everything so literally I can just go to a shop pay on my phone and that's it this phone is it I pretty much it embarrassed me I went to the shop and I wanted to pay I had my shopping I wanted to pay and I put the phone down it just won't work I had the Barclays Bank app downloaded as well it won't work it put me to Android Pay and, and literally I don't understand Android Pay I can't work it I put in my details it just doesn't work so yeah that's the one thing I hear about this phone as well there's a lot of feature that my other phone my S8 Plus has that this doesn't have which kind of draws me back in life if you know what I mean so but yeah I mean for it being a entry level for the smartphones it's 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 not bad it's not bad anyway guys thanks for watching the video don't forget to hit that like button also share the video comment down below tell me what if whatever you, whatever i said if you disagree or agree or whatever put it down in the comment section below and then also click that bell icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any time i upload a freaking video videos will literally be coming up 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 literally i'll be posting so many videos because i brought myself a camera and i'm so happy but anyway guys like i said like subscribe share the video also click down there below to check out my instagram page as well for my tech channel and yeah i'll see you guys later peace